Hi, this is Gaurav here. Uh, till now we have uh, we are done with uh, all the plant loops and condenser loops. Uh, we also made uh, set point managers and operation scheme for them. Uh, now we'll start um, air loop. In this particular video, 1.4, we'll uh, we'll only work on air loop demand side. So uh, we can. Uh, distribute uh, this air loop into uh, into two sides demand side and supply side supply side would be from where uh, cold air would be supplied uh, this would contain air handling units ahu and an oa box oa mixing outdoor air mixing box and uh, the demand side would be the zones or uh, in the vavs this all would come in the demand side where actually the air is required so uh, in this video we'll be talking just about the demand side uh, in demand side, we are going to mark, uh, we are going to make zones, uh, we, we are going to make VAVs for every zone. Uh, for zone G and zone H, we will make two VAVs and for the remaining, we will make one VAV per. So, uh, this is actually a diagram uh, of a VAV, how air flows inside a VAV. Uh, this is a reheat VAV, reheat means there would be a, a heating coil inside uh, the uh, VAV as well. There is a heating coil inside AHU and it would be here also. Uh, so the air uh, enters into the VAV through a VAV box inlet node. Then there is a damper which controls the uh, volume of the air flowing through the VAV. Uh, the volume uh, of the air flowing through actually decides the temperature uh, inside the zones. Uh, it doesn't uh, increase or decrease the temperature, but to do so, uh, it actually uh, controls the volume of the air flowing. So then would be a damper. After the damper, there would be VAV box damper node, <laughs> and then there would be heating coil <coughs> and VAV box outlet node. Uh, to make a VAV, uh, we have to make node. Uh, we have to make objects in this particular order: uh, air terminal, single duct, VAV reheat. Uh, then we will define a heating coil for this um, reheat. Uh, then th there are these three uh, zone HVAC uh, particular objects, air distribution unit, equipment list and equipment connection. Uh, then uh, we will make node list. Node list uh, is not required when there is one VAV in one zone, but it's required when there are two VAVs in a single zone. For the demonstration, uh, I'll show you um, uh, how to make uh, one VAV for a zone uh, then I'll show you how to make two VAVs for a single zone uh, then um, I'll cut it I'll cut the video and I'll fast forward it to the point where I have made all these equipments so uh, first uh, we'll make a air terminal single duct VAV reheat uh, this we can find here um, reheat we'll make an object um, our very first uh, our very first VAV in zone A was VAV uh, under, uh, under slash A1 so we'll name it as same VAV slash A1 availability schedule uh, we'll keep it on always uh, the damper A node this is uh, this particular node um, we will name it VAV A1 box damper node the air inlet node would be uh, this one This would be auto sized uh, and this would be constant this will write uh, as 0.3 you can see it in IO reference uh, and then we have to name a heating coil so we'll use a, a water heating coil 
uh, we'll give it a name here only this would be auto size this would be zero and air outlet node uh, would be this particular node Okay, the damper heating action would be reverse you can see the reason in IO reference uh, I won't discuss it now uh, okay so I have made a uh, VAV A1 uh, as I said I'll make VAV for uh, uh, zone H also uh, then uh, I'll cut it fast forward uh, so I'll make make it for H1 and H2 I have left the uh, cooling coil name right now. Uh, we'll make a cooling coil and we'll come back here to mark it. Okay, so we'll make a, a sorry, not cooling coil, a heating coil. So we'll make a heating coil here. We were going to name it. Uh, availability would be uh, on always uh, and water inlet we'll name it as um, VAV1 sorry VAV A1 box read coil water Air inlet and outlet would be uh, this uh, inlet would be damper node, outlet would be box outlet node. Uh, so we'll just select uh, this would be inlet node and outlet node would be box outlet node okay I'll make it for um, zone H1 and H2 also okay so after making heating coil um, uh, we'll mark that heating coil in the VAV this would become H1 this would become H2 this would remain as A1 Okay, after making a VAV reheat, we'll go to HVAC air distribution unit. Um, this would be this would be here. Uh, here we have to uh, mark our VAV. So this would become VAV A1 box. Okay, air distribution outlet node would be uh, the outlet node of the box. 
so this would become VAV box outlet node and this is reheat terminal name is VAV1 VAVA1 After VAV A1 box, uh, I'll do it for uh, H1 and H2. Zone HVAC equipment list is used uh, to list the uh, list all the terminals like VAV reheat, VAV non reheat, variable reheat. Uh, uh, in zone H and um, G, where there are more than one VAV, uh, you will see the difference actually here. Uh, in other zones, there would be just one VAV, uh, and for those two core zones, there would be two VAV marked here. Uh, so um, we'll mark here, we'll mark zone zone A equipment We'll do the same for uh, zone H. Uh, here we have to mark our two box. After making the list, we have to connect the list to, to particular zone that is done in zone HVAC equipment connection. Uh, here we have to uh, mark the zone like uh, zone 1 equipment one go into zone A. Uh, zone air inlet. This would be uh, this uh, VAV, VAV box inlet node. Um, sorry, uh, this, is, this is zone air inlet. Uh, this is the node where air is entering inside the zone this would this would be outlet of the vav box uh, so this would become vav a1 um, box outlet node and we will not mark air exhaust zone air node we have to make this is a zone where um, uh, like, let's suppose we want uh, readings of temperature and humidity inside the zone so energy plus actually uh, sees what is the uh, readings at this particular zone uh, and tells us the value and this return a node uh, would be uh, the exhaust uh, or where the stale air uh, coming from the zone would go out uh, so this also will mark zone a return air node Okay, now uh, as I told you, uh, the node list is needed when uh, there are more than two zones inside uh, inside a zone. There are two more than two VAV inside a zone. Uh, so we'll we'll make a um, node list. Node list is actually um, in node branch management thing. Uh, so we'll make a node. Here we'll write zone G and the two zones would be the outlet of the VAVs um, 
of the of the two VAVs. So this would become VAV H1 box outlet node and the other would be VAV H2 box outlet node. We'll use this node node list inside zone equipment connections for zone H. So we'll make make it for uh, zone H and here we'll mark Here we'll mark that node list we just made. Okay, after uh, why I showed you uh, this, these two zones is because uh, there was one VAV in zone A and two in zone H. After this the work is very repetitive so uh, we'll come back after uh, I have made all these VAVs. There is nothing other than this. Uh, I'll just make VAVs in this then come to this uh, air distribution unit then equipment list then equipment connections. So uh, I'll catch you after that. Okay, so I'm uh, done with the uh, VAVs. Uh, so there are 10 total VAV reheats. Uh, uh, A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, F1, G1, G G2 and H1 and H2. Uh, there, there would be 10 uh, VAV A1 box, A distribution units. Then there would be 8 lists because there are 8 zones and then 8 zone connections. Uh, because there are 8 zones. Uh, there would be 10 heating coils uh, for each VAVs. Uh, then after this I also made another node list uh, for zone G for uh, VAV G1 box outlet node and um, G2 box outlet node. So here we are actually done with the uh, air loop demand side. Uh, there are these two zo uh, two nodes, air demand inlet node and air demand outlet node. We will be using uh, needing these to uh, define air loop objects uh, in the next video. So in the next video I will cover uh, air loop supply side uh, and um, I will finish it, uh, it with off, um, all the uh, controllers and set point managers and after that uh, we will go to boilers. Thank you.